again, I am uh, coming here for a haircut and also for coloring my hair and it's the first time in my life this time. so I'm really... Uh, and we're going to stay in the natural lights. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Maybe a, a small exciting thing in it but not yeah. far off yeah. your natural color. Natural, yeah, okay. that's where I am. <laughs> Will you turn around so you can see your hair? Yes. And first I'm modeling also. Also that. Yeah. <laughs> And you really like this kind of hairstyles, free, a bit wavy, a bit windy. Okay, let's start on you. Yeah. Hello friends on YouTube, first time modeling for me. Now normally she's a customer of mine and she wants to have the first time coloring. So I ask her to come to the studio because I can show you a lot of free cutting techniques on her because I mostly use slicing techniques to give this Beautiful, uh, bit of windy hairstyle. And she's a tough cookie because she has a, a, a nice strong uh, job to do. So when the hair is a bit wavy, it relaxes the persons around her. Start by brushing the hair with the leafy garden brush, and then see what happens. Snap je als je de klok niet hebt dat je hier helemaal gek wordt van de rust? Ja, ja, ja. Je wordt helemaal niks. Nee. Het is wel grappig dat jij dat zegt, want ik kan ook wel eens, als ik een dag alleen werk, dan kan ik zo ongelukkig worden en ik denk dat dat het ook is. Ja, is dat en zo'n oma klok, ja. die is juist een nummer. Laat de wetting hair. En dan put onze glasses. It's not that I really need them, but I like to see everything in detail, so that's why I put on glasses. Stay in the blue line, of course, because everything is blue, so why not you? Now watch the beautiful runnings of a skull. I know what I can find, of course. I start on this side, but because she likes to wear it like this, and she likes to have it wavy, so I start on this side with getting in slice techniques from under to the top to get that air into the hairs. So I start at the side. Take my first two and a half centimeters, lift the hairs up, and go in slicing. Stay on top, on the fall of the skull, and bring in a lot of air techniques. I can also adjust the length slicing. So I go over the top and take it off. Turn a bit so you can see this. Lifting up, slicing, controlling, take this over the natural fall. I need this to guide to the other side. And gently, but creative, cutting. No stiff ideas, no hard lines. I really like it when this hair flows like the wind. Pull it to me, so I get more length, and I get a graduation. Because when I pull it to me, I get more length at the back. Because when I lay back, I can also see the beautiful roundings. Go to the underlines, lifting up. Do the same. Gently working up in a slice technique. Don't go for ultra short above the ears because she has a real large skull, so I have to get, get some hair on it. When it took off too much hair, yeah, you cannot see her anymore. She, you don't hardly see the hair. So she needs some hair. So she needs this vibrant, playful effect. To the front, from beneath, slicing, adjusting the length. Not more than that. Using an ultra soft slicing technique. And I don't open the teeth of my scissor very largely, so I just have a little bit hair between my blades. A 
this is enough. So you can see this because it's a natural way to get that movement into the skull lines and to get the air into the hairs. Working on the back. Do almost the same. You can do it controlled, like this. But mostly you like it when I take it up, just go in and play with the hairs. And I go in a rhythm, and this I do because then I never pull the hairs. Can watch where they go. Then I take them to the front, wet them again. Echt gaaf om te doen. Het is echt zo leuk om te horen dat er iets achter zit. Ja, maar normaal <laughs> denk je dat allemaal niet. Precies. En ik ben alleen maar aan het doen. Nu moet je het expliciet maken. Ja, ik moet vertellen wat ik voel. Jeetje. Open my scissor a bit. And go in with ultra fine slice techniques. Just to uh, adjust the length of the hairs. She has a lot of under hair, so that I take away. And for customers that live nearby the salon, I do that for free, just taking off this hair. They can come between the daytimes. Coming at the skull lines, go into the move of the skull lines. Move with your sister in the lines of the skull lines. Then turn a bit so you can see a little bit better. Lay it down, go in the lines of the skull line. This way I get less volume at the back, but more volume at the top. So that's why I come from above into the neckline. And for me it's very hard to do in a slow motion because I really like to go fast. And I really like to play with hairs. Then I go to the volume line. So I take the hairs up, come from beneath, get some new air into the hairs. Be aware, here's the crown area, the don't is too short on that. And lay all the volume on the skull bone. This way she can easily lay the volume also herself on the skull bone. So now you see, I get less volume in the neckline, but more volume on top. On the rounding, I take the hairs up, take them into the lines of the rounding, and do this control. By the way, this is the opposite line of the chin line, on this side of course, but it's the same line as the eyebrow line. I take it up in that line. High up, not taking off much. I use also point cut technique for those who are a bit afraid of slice cutting. Now see how wonderful this hair looks. So now I go to the right side. Lay the hairs over the skull line from the center of the skull till behind the ears, clip the hairs away, wet it and then I turn it to you. Kun je eindelijk die andere kapper eens uitleggen hoe het geknimmeld wordt? Wat andere kapper? Nee, je moeder wil heel graag naar een andere kapper, maar het is bang dat hij er niet weet wat, nou, wat ik kan doen. Hè? Nee, je moeder kan helemaal niet meer weg. Ik kan helemaal niet meer steen. Ik hou van je moeder. Theo mag ik nooit met pensioen. Ik ga niet meer pensioen. Nee, gelukkig. Ik word 100, dus dan moet jij... Uh... Oh, dat word ik ook wel. 120 worden, ja. Ja, maakt niet uit. Zet ik mezelf wel op. <laughs> Turn a li little bit more, so you can see what the effect is. So you see the hair laying like this. So I take the hairs up into that fall. Know that the right side is a little bit longer. It's not really an asymmetrical line, but a bit. 
but it had more to do with the skull lines and the volume of the skull. Take theirs over, take them up. Then I go from the other side, go in with the point cut technique and adjust the length. Again, stay focused on the skull bone and the volume beneath it. From above, go in. Lessen the volume, so get it near by the neckline, so you get a beautiful, beautiful volume on the top lines. Also on this side, she has beautiful necklines. Play with the hairs. And stay focused on all the lines you can see, because there's a lot to see on a person. And when you stay focused on that, you get nearer to the feeling that needs to be cut into a hairstyle. It's not just cutting hair, it's more than that. I think it's really love. Coming behind the ear, lay the hairs into the roundings of the skull, go in from the top, ultra fine slice techniques, and lay the head back. So get yourself into the roundings. Then lay the hairs in the lines they need to lay, adjusting the length. Then in the freehand style, I take the hairs up, lift them up, and take a little bit away of the weight. Always from the underlines because I love the volume in her hair. So when I take this up from beneath, I'm certain that I have more stable lines in the underlines, so I get more volume and more stability when you blow dry the hairs, it stays the way you blow dry it. Clip out. Go stand on the line of the fall, lay the hairs over the rounding, take them up and go into the rounding of the skull. So watch how the lines go, take the hairs up, Slicing and adjusting. Ik vind het zo leuk dat je nou ook de tijd aan het filmen bent eigenlijk, doordat je een klok erbij hebt. Ja. Zo'n ouderwetse klok ben je ook tijd aan het filmen, want je hoort gewoon de tijd voorbij gaan. Oh ja. Dat vind ik wel mooi. Staat, het geluid van de tijd staat dan op de film. Ja. Dat vind ik echt een heel gaaf idee. Watch the lines. I really like them. This is ultra fine technique, so I use this only on the skull bone. It looks like there's nothing coming off, but there's always some hair coming off. To make this line a little bit more softer. Wetting again. Take the hairs over from the ear. Take the hairs over again. Adjusting the length again. Corner line of cutting.
sizing and controlling. Go stand in the center line, go off to a point cut. Come to the side. Now this side she likes to wear to the back, but I start cutting to the front. Working again. Lay the upper hair aside. Lay there in the natural folds. Go in on the line of the ear. Then slice away the volume. Take also a bit away of the length. It is also slicing so I get a nice soft line. Then I free the hairs, take the hairs up, adjusting the length, control slicing. When you hold the hairs you have a control slice, because then you can see what you slice off. Connecting to the lines on the back. From above the ear, take the hairs up, take them to the front, point cut, and do this again in a beautiful chin line. I cut this line to the front line to get more effect to the Back because then I get a better effect because now it's stable at the front so I can lay the hairs back and I'll hold the volume but also the softness of the lines when you watch to the beautiful lines she has you get the lines of the skull into the hairline so she is more beautiful with that come to the front fringe waiting in between take the hairs to the front Beta stem, can this beta bang. Go in, open my scissor, slice. Normally I slice always cutting, but I want to show you slicing, so that's why I don't close my scissor. So you see, it takes off hairs. But always a scissor pulls a bit, so I really like to do this cutting. Watch at the line, slice cutting, cutting to the connection line, give it some effect on the shorter side of a fringe, knowing that she wears it to the back, so I don't need that lot of volume, turn a bit, take the hairs off from the top, on the side, Adjusting the line, point cut. Ideal cutting to, cutting to the connection line. Give it some effect on the shorter side of a fringe. Knowing that she wears it to the back, so I don't need that lot of volume. Turn a bit, take the hairs off from the top, on the side, adjusting the line, point cut. Cutting to the connection line, give it 
some effect on the shorter side of her fringe. Knowing that she wears it to the back. So I don't need that lot of volume. Turn a bit. Take the hairs off from the top. On the side. Adjusting the line. Point cut. Play the hairs to the back. Go stand in the opposite lines, lifting up, point cut. Then the only thing I need to do is to take away the hairs that I don't need in the neckline. And then for that far, this hairstyle is done. And then she goes for the first time coloring. Take a small clipper, turn it so you can see how I do this. Get into the line of the neckline. And what I don't need, I take off because it always grows in the other way around. And she has a husband, so he uh, knows how to shave. He's bought like I am. So he has also a job to do. <laughs> and I can also learn hair pulling. And that I show on the video also, that's, so you know again what hair pulling is. Do the same on the other side. Take the hairs to the side. Get rid of the hairs I don't need. Don't force on the blade of the clipper because I still have to color the hairs and I need the natural protection. So now I can make her a collar. Okay, made her a collar. Made her this collar is an 851. And in the underlines, I will put a little bit 5-0 in it, so this will be a little bit more uh, deep of color, just in the underlines. But I will show you, of course, what I'm working. Uh, colors of Kin, I make a photo of the product also in the video. Product with uh, 20 volume, that's 6%, and I put in an extra conditioner. I always do. The conditioner I use is of Clint, and the step one is into the product. The beautiful thing of these colors is uh, ammonia free, parabene free. They don't come with a smell. They just, yeah, they have real nice smell, ultra soft, and the colors last for a long time. We go for a color near to our own color because also the first time coloring, and she likes to be a bit natural. And that suits, that suits her, because the necks are also special. Die man ook, denk ik. Ja, hè? Ja, man, die krijgt na drie jaar eindelijk zijn zin. Ja? ja. Vraagt hij al zo lang dat je ja, echt doet? Ja. Oh, dat ja. had ik al lang een keer gedaan. Ook. Bij de eerste ga je ze plukken, ja. Ik moest er echt eventjes aan wennen, hoor. Aan het idee. Ik denk nou, met corona maakt het allemaal niet uit. Nee, dat maakt het niet uit. Ja. Maar het is wel lekker hoor, want ja. weet je bent vrouw hè? Ja, en, en moeder. En ook je zit ook dat het uh, op internet, of je zit dat te teamsen en te zoomen. En ja. dat, je zit hier naar jezelf te kijken en je denkt, oh, het kan ook echt oh, niet. Duif. Ja, echt zo hè. Oh. Take a little bit of the uh, 5 zero. Show you how much I have left. This amount. And I take about. Wow. 4 centimeters of the product into the bowl. Close the tube. When you close the tube and you have to you never know how long it stays open, push a little bit of the collar out and then close it. This way your collar will stay for a long long time perfect. The same is with a cola bottle. When you use cola and you don't use the whole bottle, 
crease it and then put the dot on it, the sealer. So the cola stays on sparkling, otherwise the sparkles go out and you have only sugar water. Mix this, I don't need extra developer. Turn it so you can see where I place this. So first take it down and then I just take it up so it get a nice soft overflow of the color into each other. And when this is done, we're going to wait for 25 minutes, then rinse it out. Put a step 2 over it and a conditioner. And then we're back, of course, for styling. So we go for a coffee or tea. <laughs> you just stay there, because you know I will be not gone in this video. I'll be back. Sounds that nice. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Then I lay the ass back on the line. You can already see the color developing. Hold it open, don't lay it too tough on the skull. Get rid of my clubs. Go to my plastic foil. Knot it. Hold it in the front, take the sides up, do this on both sides, stabilize in the back to the front, stabilize again, take my sides and knot it. This way it never dries out. So we'll be back. Okay, back from uh, coloring. Now, before I start uh, with blow drying, I'm going to explain one time more hair pulling. Hair pulling is something, especially on women, it's very nice to do because especially in winter time or with a stress job, your skin on top, it gets real tight on, on the top of your head and the blood streams are thereby lessened so you have not enough blood into the blood streams on top. On the sides it's never a problem. So what you do for that, you cannot, of course, massage the skin and the head, but this, this doesn't bring a lot. What you do is, one time a day, mostly I tell the people do this, for example, after a day working and you have, your, you have your coffee, so you get into the relaxed mode and so you start on the evening. And then you take your hands between your fingers and you pull the skin a little bit up, about a millimeter, two millimeters. You activate with this the bloodstream, but you take also the tension of the muscles. Every hair has a muscle, and you take this away. Especially on women, they take all the stress on top of their head. And they are very sensitive for this kind of things. For me, as a man, when I do this to a woman, especially of course to my wife, I, I notice that she gets really relaxed, but I'm getting also relaxed, because when I do this, yeah, I come also into a relaxed mode. Now, I don't like hair pulling because I don't have hair, but that's that other reasons. It's a hormone thing. But this you do for two till five minutes a day. It gives a really nice relaxing feeling. But the most important thing is it brings you the best hair in the world for your whole life. I can not sell you anything what I have in my shop that gives a better bloodstream than this. It's almost nothing. It's very lovely to do. And you can already feel what, when you do it one time, you can feel the difference. Because when I now massage the skin, it's much mm, yeah. more free. She needs it a lot. She has a busy job, so she has a lot of stress. 
through the days. So she can really take it to the five minutes level. I do this one, one time a day, it's enough. But I know already from the persons I try this for five months on, they do it in between also. They take in the between the hairs with the window fingers and pull it a bit. The, the skin gets real warm also. But that's hair pulling. So now I apply something. I take something to protect this, uh, the hairs for blow drying. It's a shaper, it's a product of uh, Lacme. Smells really nice. Brush this through with my Olivia Garden brush. And then I can start blow drying. Ja, dat hair pull, hè? Ja, nou echt. Het is echt heel goed hoor, als je dat uh, ja? heel goed voor je huid, heel goed voor je bevloeding van je hoofd hebt. En je houdt echt je leven lang mooi haar dan. Ja? Anders wordt het steeds dunner hoog op. Ah. Then I'm going to work freely with my hands. For example, when I come into the neckline, and mostly on top, I do like this. But when I come to the down lines, I take my knuckles and relax also the neckline because it lays into the sink and it's, uh, it's never a nice thing to lay in the sink because it's a hard cold thing so when you relax the muscles and the neckline it's also for the person who you do the hair with or for better feels nicer Maar jij mag echt wel herpoelen, dat is wel echt goed voor jou aan. Ja, Want jouw huid zit echt strak op de hoofd. Ja. Sofa blow drying. Take a Lanza hairspray and because I have a lot of uh, effects in the underlines I don't need a lot of hairspray and not strong products because her hair feels ultra light, there's a lot of air between the hairs and I wanted that windy feeling. I really like it or no. I thank Marieke for being my model. I thank you for watching. Take out the protection. She will turn around to show you the end effect and we see each other next video. Bye bye. Yes. Ik ga eigenlijk ook zelf een beetje zien. Leuk hè? Dank je wel. So I'm really uh, and we're going to stay in the natural lines. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Maybe a, a small exciting thing in it, but not yeah. far off yeah. your natural color. Natural, yeah. Okay. That's where I am. <laughs> Will you turn around so that you can see your hair? Yes. And first I'm modeling also. Also that. Yeah. <laughs> and you really like this kind of hairstyles. Free, a bit wavy, a bit windy.